Beach Grove number one, baby. This is the Cougar News. What's up, y'all? My name is Foa. Uh, I'm a senior running for Homecoming King. Y'all should vote for me because um, I'm a pretty big leader around the school. I'm involved in things. Uh, I, wrote, I won Prince my freshman year, but we didn't have the other two homecomings because of COVID. But um, yeah, I'm hoping to win this year and you know keep my legacy going. Uh, I just I feel like I'll be a good representative for the school and be a good leader uh, as a senior and Homecoming King. So we have a question for you. I'll have someone pull one for you. Your question is, if you could break one rule, what rule would that be and why? Break one rule? Yeah, I'm not usually one to break rules, you know. I'd like to be a good example around the school, but. Um, like a rule in school? Or like, School, outside of school, you get to pick a role. I'll say, or whatever I want in school, slides or whatever, without having to be talked to or something like that. But, yeah. And why would you do that? Because now, you know, I got to stay in dress code mode, you know, be a good example for the, for the younger classmen around the school. And, yeah, so I don't be, be breaking it that much, so. Okay, well, thank you. Hi, my name is Jerome, Jerome Killer Brew. You might know me as Brew. I'm captain of the football team, play basketball. Um, one more. Uh, I play tennis, I'm trying to run track this year. Uh, my freshman year, I really didn't get to uh, do much because of COVID, due to, due to COVID, for real, for real. I didn't run for Homecoming King, I gave it to my friend Fell Off. But this year, I'm planning on running for Homecoming King this year upcoming so I want you to vote for me so I can get the experience of winning something my high school year. Um, the reason I say you should vote for me is because I feel like I'm a good leader for the school. I look out for all grades including seniors myself. Um, I know what the, it feels like to be a freshman and be like go through adversity because my freshman year I struggled a lot and my sophomore year due to like being online it was very hard and I had to overcome that so going through adversity I'm somebody you can look up to. Um, anything that's all I got that's for it. Okay, well, we got a question for you. <laughs> so your question is, if you could meet and have lunch with any person from history, who would it be and why? Um, I would want to meet with probably Jeff Bezos because Jeff Bezos is like the richest person in the world. I want to know like what made him, his mo what motivated him to become like, like do what he do now. And like, I want to like surround myself around winners. Hello, my name is Kendrick Nixon. You may also know me as the drum line, drum line leader for marching band in the school. Um, I am in my middle school. I have always wanted to play the drums. I always wanted to play any type of drum in my life. And I've reached my goal, my rightful goal, to ever, um, you know, do the band, the, the drums. Throughout my middle school, I have done baritone throughout the concert band. I am now still doing the baritone. I'm very skilled with it. And 
Currently, I'm also in the marching band where I'm doing the snare. I'm very skilled with bass drum, quads, cymbals, and any other type of drum line type instrument that is in the drum line in marching band. I am also very skilled with technology. I have a high GPA of three point of a 3.9 throughout any type of GTA during the quarters. My cumulative GPA is a 2.9 where it raised last year, where I had honor roll all year. My highest ever last year was a 3.9 and I nearly got a 4.0 twice. With my first one being a 3.8, then my second one being a 3.9. I am very edu educated with technology and math, where I learned all of those studies specifically from my father. He has always been a role model to me, has always teach me about life, has always teach me the rights and wrongs about life, and is overall a really good person to my heart and to my family. He has taught me everything about how to do stuff in school, how to do stuff in public, how to treat people nicely, how to be friendly towards others and just have a good relationship, be a good person, be a nice person that I am today. The reason why I want to become Homecoming King, your Homecoming King, is because I wanted to really just take the chance of becoming the Homecoming King because you can't, like, this is your one-time opportunity to become Homecoming King because it is my senior year and I want to participate in such an in such a activity where I can become your guys' Homecoming King. And to anybody that's new to Beechcroft or just new to high school in general, because since you're new, you won't know that much about any type of last chance type of activities because, because you're mainly a, uh, new to high school. All you have to do is just go for it go for the decision because it's a one-time opportunity. You can't do this again. Because any type of activity that you do throughout junior year and specifically your senior year all depends on college. Especially with the credit classes, credit class co uh, classes like CAP English, CAP Chemistry, or Chemistry, Regular Chemistry, uh, Pre-Cal, Regular Calculus, and CT robotics if you want to, which also counts to college credit. You can do all types of college credit classes in the school. They all count towards anything that you want in the future. And it's overall a really good experience to do. Even though there will be some times where it will be difficult for you to do some assignments, it'll pay off in the future because all of those will just count towards your grade. And if you make a good grade, Put the effort, put in the grind, you'll make it throughout any type of year that you come that you come across. And I wish to become your homecoming king. Take any final chances that you have in the future. And I rightfully want to be your homecoming king. We have an extra question for you, and the question is, who is your role model and why? My all-time role model is my father because he has taught me everything I knew about my life has taught me all of the rights and wrongs about life and is overall an extremely important person in my life. There is a second one where I want to introduce is my mother. She, al she also has taught me a lot about life and has taught me the history and her background and what she, and what she has done and the other people that have done the stuff that we have now today. She is, she is also an important person to me She's taught me everything about how to keep myself clean, how to keep a really good personality, how to be a good person, how to treat others respectfully, and how to treat elderly respectfully, and overall, be a good person at once. My dad has taught me everything about how to see the world in the future, how to know what's gonna happen in the future, how to teach me anything that's related to school-wise, whether it would be at home, or in public, or at the school in general. So my all-time role model is my father because he's taught me everything that I know today. And my second role model that I care about a lot is my mother. And overall, 
They're both extremely, extremely, extremely important to them. I love them both, and they are my role models. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Ivy Camp, and I am captain of the cheerleading team, and I also play volleyball. And I would say, I feel like y'all should vote for me because I'm a very good leader. I'm a good example of what a good student should look like. Um, my grades are good. And yeah, I think it's just good to be involved in school stuff because after high school, not gonna have a lot of stuff to do, so be involved. All right, we have a question for you. Your question is, where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I see myself um, graduating college, probably from Kentucky State, and becoming an athletic trainer. 